is that this stage right here, when it's just a little loop showing up over the surface, that the damping off can occur. And as you see, one of those is leading down to the root, the other is leading to the leaves. And as occurred, not in this one, but in the first Hungarian yellow wax, it was just a little too damp. So all it is is a little burnt tip and no leaves. So that one is effectively dead. So that's what happens when it's just a little bit too damp. That's the damping off fungus. So once it re they reach up and out, they are less prone to that damping off. Yeah, this one here is just getting ready to emerge out. Fairly susceptible to that dampening off. But it looks like it might just come out of it. Alrighty, we are nearing the end of day 12, and as you can see, these are getting pretty large, and they're drinking a lot more water than I'm used to giving them, especially these guys down here, as you can see. So, I'm upping it to approximately 15 milliliters per day on those guys. And on the ones that haven't sprouted yet, they will continue to be monitored and watered accordingly. Still only have the one guy right there of the secondary set. But day 14 is the end of this experiment. All right, I got this little device for my birthday from my parents. And it's got a magnifying 10x, 20x, 30x. So there's normal. Here is the 10. Oh, wow, look at that. Ah, there we go. Seems to be more of a focal point thing. Alright, let's see what happens when we do the 20x. Look at that. Maybe. Oh. Looks pretty cool. Cool, huh? So there's 10, 20, should we try for 30? Let's see what 30 does. There's 30. Oh. Can't hold it still enough. Been a couple of weeks on some of these, been about a week on a bunch more. Here is the Hungarian Black Mother, and we've got the blue thread, seems to have taken, the blood red thread does not, the general red thread here has shriveled up, so it has not. And the gold thread here 
equally does not look successful. So I will trim those guys off and just focus on blue thread here. All right, mini sweet, long sweet. That one is right here. That is a success. UFO and corked jalapeno is right there. Equally a success. Purple UFO and Fushimi. Long sweet Hungarian black. Definitely. Alma paprika and sugar rush peach. Golden cayenne and sugar rush peach. Success. Giant jalapeno Hungarian black. Success. Just a standard sugar rush peach. White Bell Hungarian Black appears to be a success. Not much growth on it yet though. Here's a standard purple jalapeno and Casabel Sugar Rush Peach. We've got the Unknown Red from 2018 and Corked Jalapeno. And finally the Sugar Rush Cream and Corked Jalapeno. Alrighty, we have upgraded the workspace here. So there's just the one tray there that you need to rotate. We've still got two trays under here. We've got that one there, but I have cleaned off this table and installed these two last night. So I've got those guys in there. And we'll be able to do lots more plants. I call it tomatoes and anti-mosquito stuff that I want to plant. Got some new lights. Those ones are not new, but haven't used them yet this year. That fixture is new, but the lights aren't. So far, these guys have been under these lights for the last 24 hours after having been in the brights pretty much all the time. I've had a banana in here for a couple days and it looks like hopefully it's working. The golden cayenne is starting to turn golden and the Casabel is totally turning red. So if I can see it, here, here we go. Hopefully you can see it. I can't see you at the moment. And then the Paprika over here is turning more of a golden color, so hopefully that's working. And I'm playing binaural beats for plants, so hopefully that triggers them to be good, good and juicy, and all that fun stuff. Got some others. Going out now, Poblano, Fushimi, and Red Mercury. Straight Red Mercury, not a cross there. I don't know if this corked jalapeno is doing anything. Nope, it must have fallen off. Nothing there. Take that off later. And this guy here, 
unknown red pork jalapeno. Looking pretty good. I that might have been a long sweets, maybe? That one's second gen long sweet right there. Big old sausage looking thing. Big, uh, can't wait for these guys to actually be ripe enough to pick. Oh, it's been about a week. And typical Lehigh windiness. Ripping the greenhouse plastic there. And we've got the peppers all out here. These are all the ones that weren't fruiting. Away, but for the most part they're all still here and they have taken the full sun quite well We're answering the question, can you grow a jalapeno in a bathtub? The answer is yes. And now I will transplant it into a one gallon container for the rest of the season so that it is not stunted in this container here. Alrighty, we got all of the peppers that were in one gallon containers all potted up into the five gallon containers. And then we got the Chiltepin massive one right there in our seven gallon container. We'll see how that goes. Got all the raspberries and blackberries put out in that box there. And we're getting ready to do the garden boxes now. We're planting the grapes soon. And got the beans and radishes and carrots in that one. All right, we are up here with the rest of the hybrids. Originally, the seeds were planted in January. January 23rd actually so we are five months and about two and a half days from the planting all right up until yesterday I had a banana in here giving off that ethylene gas to promote ripening so we have got purple UFO corked jalapeno this one is a non-hybrid. This is simply a Malawi Picante. We've got a Poblano right there. And then this guy here. That is a unknown red. Something that would have been purchased at the grocery store with corked jalapeno as the father. This one is a simple purple jalapeno. Then a giant jalapeno ahi lemon drop. That guy right back here almost looks like a bleeder. We've got a white bell golden marconi I don't know guys, would you classify that as a bleeder? And then over here we have the giant jalapeno Hungarian black. It's the red guy right there. There's another purple UFO. This one is the Fushimi cross. Then over here, we've got the 
long sweets Hungarian black and this guy sticking out all over here that one is the straight up golden Marconi and back here we have the mini sweets crossed with the long sweets sugar rush cream and corked jalapeno right there and finally Hungarian black mini sweets right there.